we should also mention we're playing tavern music before this, and which I love. Which I first when I think I you had to first, stop the tavern music. Yeah, because it doesn't the the audio. Okay, okay. But it makes <laughs> yeah, it'll make the podcast. Add it in post. Add it in post. No one will want to listen to the podcast. If <laughs> they probably play. would, but it makes me it reminds me like of a video game, like a role playing video game where you have experience points. <laughs> There's something really joyful about wandering places like Elder Scrolls, like Skyrim, just exploring uh, these landscapes in another world, and then you get experience points, and you can work on different skills, and somehow you progress in life. And I don't know, it's simple. It doesn't have some of the messy complexities of life. And there's usually a bad guy you can fight. In in, um, in Skyrim, it's dragons and so on. I'm sure in Elden Ring, there's a bunch of monsters you can fight. I love that. I, I feel like Elden Ring, I, I feel like this is a good analogy to music production, though, because it's like, I feel like the engineers and the people creating these open worlds are, are it's sort of like similar to people, to music producers, where it's, it's like this, this hidden archetype that like, no one really understands what they do and no one really knows who they are, but they're like, it's like the artist engineer, because it's like, it, it, it's both art and uh, fairly complex engineering.